it is a Thursday today. I am working and it is only just after 12 now. Just made some lunch. I'm going to take my lunch with me in the car. I just want to go grab some paint for our kids' feature walls in our house. The paint is currently there painting the interior of our home at the moment. And I need to go and get the paint. We're doing the kids' uh, feature walls in their bedroom. So I have two colors that I have in mind. I have this really soft pale pink for Chloe's room. It's called Pale Cor Coral. And then I have this color in mind for Ari's room. It's called Classic Calm. And I really like the idea of the names because we really need something calming for Ari. I really liked this one. It's like a really nice deep um, like foresty green. I really liked it. It's called Angry Ocean though. And I feel like that's sort of the tone of the name of the tone, if you know what I mean. So, and I really like this actually is quite calming this color i'm not sure if it's showing its true colors on camera but these two are my favorites so this one's just a really really soft pinky color it kind of reminds me of what i had when i was younger in our bedrooms and but it's not quite pink it's like a soft coral anyway so i'm going to bring you guys along hopefully it is not too busy at bunnings because it is lunchtime there so it's usually busy at any time when you go to bunnings but I've got to get back to work because I've got a client at one. So I'm going to head off and we're going to get this paint. Thank you. Okay, it's just 12.30 now and I just got to the house. I didn't, it didn't take so much longer at Bunnings than I thought. So I've got my paint. I end up going with the ones I showed you. I just wanted to double check when I was at the at Bunnings to make sure that I was very happy with those colors because I don't know, paint makes me nervous. I don't know, like these are the boldest colors that we've ever gone in our house before, but because this is our house that we're staying in, we're just doing a little bit more of a, <clears throat> excuse me, a bit of a character in our home. So pretty excited. I'm gonna um, just throw you, show you a few snippets of our house, just as a little update. Um, but I'll take you through it a little bit later when I actually move in. So it should be around the end of the month that we'll be moving in. So it's pretty exciting. So I'm going to run the paint into the painter and show you a little bit of the house. And then I'm going to get back to work. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. Place where we don't know oh. About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for oh. Take my hand We'll make it somehow We can't miss out shower and got changed I just was covered in dust and today has been so hot it's around about it's over 30 degrees I'm pretty sure of it so 
It's been a hot one, um, but I'm just getting some dinner ready before I pick up the kids from school. So I'm putting together a zucchini slice for dinner. And the recipe I'm following is through, they're called the Clean Queens. It's just a couple of girls that I follow on Instagram. This is just what I'm going to be cooking for tonight. So it's only got six ingredients and it's pretty easy and it only takes about 30 minutes to cook. So I've got the oven preheated and we're going to serve it with some pumpkin gnocchi. Can't say I've ever tried gnocchi at home before. I have tried it in a restaurant. Pumpkin gnocchi I have never tried. So you literally only need to put it in boiling water for a couple of minutes to cook. And soon it, uh, soon it has, ugh. soon as it has surfaced, apparently it's ready to go. So we're gonna try that out. And then I'm just going to add this bolognese sauce. This is what I usually use for my spaghetti bowl. Um, it's packed full of veggies and it's pretty good. It's pretty low in sugar. So I like to use that one. So I'm going to mix it with the pumpkin gnocchi and serve that as a side for the zucchini slice. But I've got all my ingredients here and I'm going to put it together and get it cooked before I get the kids. I literally took me only five minutes to make that and I think it's going to turn out pretty nice because the ingredients were very simple. Like I said, it's only six ingredients. So it's got eggs, milk, cheese, um, self-raising flour, zucchini and ham. Um, I just used bacon instead of ham and the grated cheese, I had to use my mozzarella because I'm actually out of cheese at the moment. So that's the only thing different that I did and I didn't season it so because the kids are a little bit like funny with seasoning so I'm just going to keep it plain and hopefully they like it and I've already got the gnocchi ready to go I've just got the water ready to go here and then when the kids get home I'll literally just boil it chuck it in and the sauce just a quick and easy side dish hopefully they eat it hopefully we like it too because I haven't tried this one Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow 
I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't 